dare you mock my singing. Terrible. What's up guys, my name is Phil, welcome back to Miranda Detailing, and welcome back to our detailing life. So in today's episode, we're working on these two vehicles. We have a regular customer in, this is actually a really good customer of ours that we've had for many years, and uh, this is their new GMC Denali that we're doing our diamond service on. We also have a Highlander out there that we're also doing our diamond service on. However, it's still hot and humid. I have all the fans going, so I apologize if uh, it hits the microphone and causes some annoying fan noise. But outside there, it looks like it may rain. I'm not sure yet. If that happens, we're gonna have to pop up our canopy, secure it down with five gallon buckets. That's how we usually do that. Um, and hopefully try to beat the rain, but one of the vehicles is going to be underneath that canopy um, you know, as we detail it and everything and, and waiting for the customer to pick it up. Hopefully we don't have a ton of rain. If it's a quick shower, not a big deal, but we'll see what we can do and try to beat the rain. So you saw the wash process on this. I was using, it's not a new product, just a new to me product, but Malco sent it out to us. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. This is their little Red Thunder. It's a ready to use biodegradable degreaser. This can actually be used on everything. It's, it's a cleaner, not necessarily a, a heavy duty type of degreaser. 
So it says it'll clean engines, white walls, carpet upholstery, vinyl, and concrete. It's quite the list of stuff that it can clean. Um, it doesn't leave any type of residue, non-caustic, aluminum safe formula. So yeah, I used this on the tires and on some of the wheels. The wheels weren't really too bad. And uh, also used it on the mats. And you can see I sprayed it all in the front area where all the bugs were and it just dissolved the bugs easily. And they were able to rinse away and then wash away with no problem. We don't need any type of dedicated bug remover, which I really don't really use one anyway. So I usually just use degreasers, all-purpose cleaners, something like that. But this stuff, really nice. Now, I don't know if I'll use it on the inside because there's not a lot of heavy-duty cleaning on the inside, but if I need to, then I will. But this stuff worked great on the outside. So we also washed it with the Malco CW37. This is their premium car and truck wash. And it's just a pure shampoo, which is a simple shampoo. It's a good cleaner. It was able to clean um, a lot of the tree junk that was on top of the paint as well, because it sits under trees, unfortunately. And also it aided in cleaning the bugs uh, on the front bumper and grill area. So did a really great job. We're gonna tackle the inside here. I may show some highlights of uh, cleaning the inside. And we have been using the new Hybrid Solutions streak-free mist interior detailer and then their leather uh, cleaner and protectant as well. And someone asked, um, is it truly streak-free? And so far, we found it to be that. It's pretty awesome. So you can spray it directly onto consoles and the infotainment screens and all that stuff and black parts in there, you know, the black gloss shiny parts and uh, it wipes away nice and streak free. So I'm impressed with this stuff. So that's probably what we'll use inside there. All right, let's get started on the inside. Oh, before we do, if you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. So we just finished the interior of the Yukon. Now, here's something I wanna point out, kind of a stupid design. 
Now, you have this center console here, and there's a lot of storage, which is cool, and I like that. But I had to look this up because I had, for some reason, stuck it in the, like, different position. It was all the way back. Here, I'll show you slides. It's called a, like, power slide. Okay, so that's cool, you know, and there's, like, storage under here. There's all this nice storage. But you have to turn the vehicle on, or at least to power. Now, where do you think the button for this would be, or should be? You would think, oh, maybe right here, down here, in here, here, a button somewhere here. No, it's up here where the sunroof is, right there. That power slides it back. GMC, guys, that's not intuitive at all. And I know this says the sunroof here, sunroof here, the little, you know, power sliding thing for the sunroof cover here. But this right here? For that? No, 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 no. That doesn't belong up there. That was like a last minute thought, like let's power it and put the button up here. No guys, that's not intuitive. This, you would automatically think sunroof, right? Oh, goes back and forth, arrows back and forth. But no, it's for this. Yeah, took us forever. I had to go on YouTube and find the video for it because it's not intuitive. No, no. GMC, you fail on that one. Well, with that said, the GMC is done. Now we have to, oh, uh, let's see if it's raining. Oh no, okay, it's showered and it stopped. We gotta do that Highlander next. So we're gonna wash it out here. And then what we'll probably do is switch vehicles out. We're gonna put up our 10 by 20 pop-up canopy here and switch out the Yukon, put that underneath the canopy so it'll be fine. And then we'll put the Highlander in here to work on it. So. Yep, all right, that one's next. So we just washed it and deconned it nice and smooth. And uh, check out these wheels, however. This thing is only four years old and already the wheels are peeling. Now, I've talked to another customer before who ordered these specific type of like a, a tinted chrome wheel and it's just chrome underneath it. And they just put this type of a, you know, a tinted clear over it to make it look a little darker. And look, already it's peeling. Now, I don't know if that was caused by somebody else who, you know, cleaned it too harshly or if it's just a factory defect, but at four years old for expensive wheels like this, this is supposed to be an upgrade, an expensive upgrade. That is not cool. Four years in and they're already starting to peel. Just order chrome. Don't order these type of special wheels. It's not worth it. I'm very disappointed with modern day you know, car manufacturing. They're making things cheaper and cheaper and making the vehicles themselves more and more expensive. Highlanders are nice, but I don't know. 
The interior carpets are also garbage. Not good at all. Yeah, that kind of stinks. I'd rather go with an older vehicle that has better quality material, such as the Lexus. The Lexus LX and GX SUVs, as well as the Toyota Land Cruisers, the older ones, not the new ones. They are way, way better. That's actually what we're in the market for now. We're trying to find an older GX 460 or 470. But yeah, that's just too bad. Okay, we're gonna switch things around here because it may rain on us again. So we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna put this in and we're gonna put that underneath the canopy that we're gonna set up here in just a moment. All right, so we got a box of new detailing products. New to us, not new to the market. Uh, but a company called Shiners reached out to us, so they gifted us a box of stuff. Ooh, we got some nice microfiber towels. Box within a box. Oh, I got some nice, some nice triggers. All right, let's, let's go, let's start with this one. Cleans all. So this is a all-purpose cleaner, ultra shine detail spray, no rub polish and detail spray. Interesting, so this is for rubber, vinyl, plastic, and painted surfaces. That's kind of interesting, but I'm probably going to use it on plastic like we do um, Stoner's Trim Shine. Then we have their Wheel Bright, so I'm assuming this is an acid-based cleaner. Well, I'll get some more information on that. It says wheel bright, not considered an acid. It is more acidic than it is alkaline. So that's interesting. Showroom shine, a detailer, liquid cow. So leather and plastic conditioner. Oh yeah, I can smell it. It smells like that nice uh, leather. Oh yeah, I like that smell a lot. Then we have a trim rejuvenator. Then we have a Red degreaser. Oh, we have a cherry wet wax. I like these types of waxes. Then we have shine and shield, a multi-purpose dressing. We have a wash and wax shampoo. Oh, we have a little scent here called clean cotton. Then we have their non-silicone dressing. And I don't use a lot of non-silicone dressings. So I wanna try this out, see how it works. And then a pink shampoo. Lots of stuff to try out. Liquid Toothpick in the leather. Toothpickery. Toothpickery. In the words of Jim White from White Details, toothpickery. Oh, that's much better. Now it looks proper. How do you like that liquid cow? I love it. Yeah? Is it delicious? It smells delicious, tastes good. It seems to dry to the touch. No greasiness, no shininess. Now it says, you know, liquid cow, it's leather conditioner, but you can put it on everything. I mean, even the leather here, it's, a, it's vinyl. It's the, same, it's the same as this. So you can apply it everywhere.
So we use some of the new Shiner stuff on here, the Liquid Cow. We use their Cherry Wet Wax. Then we use their Showroom Shine Detail Spray as like a topper. And uh, she's looking beautiful. So this one will be gone in about an hour or so. We also have the White Yukon out there. That'll be gone in about an hour or so. And then for tomorrow's job, right out there, that's a, uh, a brand new Dodge Charger. We're doing a paint enhancement on it tomorrow in sealant. No coatings, just a paint enhancement. And then we're gonna apply some sort of a sealant onto it. So I'll make a full video on that also. We gotta move some cars around because we have customers coming to pick up their cars. We gotta pull that red charger in here and we're gonna get started on that one. So thank you guys for joining us. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you're interested in any of the products like the new Shiners products, we will be using those um, in later videos. So look out for those products. We will be using a bunch of them. We have so many of them. So a uh, thank you goes out to them for sending us those products and all the other products that we used on the vehicle today. Um, and even this little guy. So this is kind of weird. Uh, we were noticing that when we were using this little polisher here, when the, the pad, that large six inch pad gets a little saturated, gets a little heavy, it starts to vibrate kind of weird. It's, I don't know, a little off balanced, a little weird, but whatever, we'll work with it. And I'm gonna get some other six inch pads to work with that little thing. It's so light and easy to use, you can buzz around the vehicle really fast if you're just applying wax or sealant by machine. Um, it's lighter, of course, than the SPTA polishers and it doesn't have the larger throw. It's just all around easier. I just wish it came with two batteries instead of one because I have to put that thing to charge and I can't use it um, unless you get two of them, but that's kind of stupid. So I'll see if maybe that company can um, sell just an extra battery. Just do that, just an extra battery and it would really sweeten the deal with that. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.